everyone, Shaky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be trying some more things from Japan. High Conk Black Sesame Candy. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is changing. I think I'm finally changing into a bloke. It was always on the cards, wasn't it? on opening the packaging and trying to sit down at the same time. I can't do it. Okay, so there's like a cardboard covering on it. Whoa! So you get all of these individually wrapped little candies here. I'm taking some clothes off because I'm getting hot. Is it going to be black in colouring? Oh, sort of a grey green colour. It's a hard candy. I spat on myself. Disgusting. Mmm. <laughs> They're really tasty candy. They have got a lovely milk flavour through it. And you can also taste that sesame seed in there as well. But what I really like about this is the packaging. The fact that it comes out in this little cardboard pull-out thing here. Pocky Panda. How cute is this? Oh. Oh. Don't want to ruin the packaging because it's so cute. Look at that, I've ripped his head open. Oh, wow, it's got little pandas on the packaging too. Oh, wow. So it's like a little chocolate pocky stick and it's got white chocolate on it. Oh, I love them. Oh. So it's a chocolate pocky stick and what I love about this is it's got white chocolate and then little tiny bits of cookie in there so it's kind of like a cookies and cream pocky stick. It does not get much better. Who doesn't love cookies and cream? I love the packaging and I love the pocky sticks inside this one. Corn pottage. I have had these ones before and you're probably wondering why I'm trying them again because this is going to sound really strange but I found these in my cupboard. And I don't know where they've come from. And I know that's a strange thing to not know where food has come from. I know somebody didn't send it to me. I, like I know a viewer did not send it to me. But what I think has happened is that I ordered a whole lot of Japanese stuff online and I think that they gave me like bonus things and there's repeats of things that are it really, it's, it's quite complicated and not at the same time. I don't remember these little excited pots on the front of it, but would I remember something like that? I don't know. The blue pot there looks quite terrified, whereas this one looks a little bit manic. And, uh, oh, she, dramatic. And I haven't had these before, <laughs> but they smell very familiar. I've had something very, very similar to it before. Maybe I did buy these. I'm just going crazy. So this is what they look like. They're little like squashed discs. Mmm. Yeah, I like them. So they're really crispy and delicious. They've got a lovely corn flavor through it. It really does taste like sweet corn soup. So technically I could have these for dinner, right? Paco, I don't know if that's how you say it. Would you say it like that? Some of you are saying no, I wouldn't. These are soda flavor. So this is what you get inside. Oh, oh that's quite pretty. I wasn't expecting there would be bits of blue in there, but just happened <laughs> something just happened oh mm. there seemed to be like powder in the middle of it I'm sorry but something else was happening because I suddenly have like a weird little bowl in my mouth I know this sounds odd <laughs> <laughs> yeah I do oh, I've got to take it out and look at it yes It is a beautifully flavoured chewy candy and also in the middle of it, it seems to have some sort of a powdery thing that comes out and then you get a ball. Honest to goodness, you get a ball. Which means that it's time to dissect this because I would like to see what's going on in the middle of it. I've got this chopping board and I've got a knife and it's going to happen everyone. Uh, maybe not. 
Uh, uh, I should have just bitten it in half. But then, where's the drama there? See how well that's cutting in half, everyone? Yeah, don't do this at home. Right, I've sort of cut it in half now. And you can't really see much in there, but you can see there is a ball in there. So you can also see that there's a powdery stuff in there as well. Oh, the many different layers of that one. I wasn't expecting a lot from this, but this was actually a really exciting candy to try. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had this one before. It's so cool. Next up I have this, and it looks like, it looks like a hockey puck, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's something that's edible. But this has not stopped me before in my taste test. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be on the front there. Is that like some sort of a weird red bean paste thing? I'm hoping you do eat it by itself and it doesn't actually go on things. Right, oh, it's got a pool ring thing on it. That was not expected. Oh. supposed to eat this. Now I'm glad I've got a knife because I'm going to slice this up. It sounded really violent, didn't it? I'm going to slice you up. It's kind of like wobbly and jelly-like. Let's just, oh, hello. Yes. Oh, just get a little slice of this out. How are you supposed to eat it? Hello, it's coming out. <gasps> actually smells quite nice. <laughs> I want to get a bigger bit because I feel like I need to... There are things in here. It seems to be like a red bean thing happening. I want to put this on my chopping board. <sighs> Just ignore that that one's there. We've already looked at it. Oh gosh. Would you like some? Oh gosh, it's quite slimy in consistency. <laughs> Despite it being really, really sweet, it kind of feels like it shouldn't be a sweet thing for me. It's a red bean sweet. I've got a thing about beans. Some beans I love, other beans I'm like, oh, I just don't like the textures of them. They're sort of like mushy and, and weird. I mean, the flavour of it is okay. It's just the texture of it that's a bit weird to me. It's kind of like a jelly-like consistency. If you love sweet red beans, then you're probably going to love that. I would eat it, but I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy that again, no. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this taste test, please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.